Hello stampers, it's super awesome stamper Shirley Merker. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator from Sun Prairie, Wisconsin, USA. Thanks for joining me today for the craft along. We've got some vest fold kits in the mail. I'm going give to give you a brief overview of celebration and also my sweet of the month program and how I can reward you um, if you place an order with me. So if anybody's watching out there, give me a thumbs up. Uh, Leo is watching. Yay. I'm going to check my news feed and flip my camera to my station while we're checking everything here. And if you've purchased kits from me, they came in a, let me do the flip around. Um, if you purchase kits from me, they came in a white envelope. And let me get this in my clip. And my clip snapped on me, sorry about that. Okay. All right. So, Valerie, Anita, Sheila, okay. I was I was debating about just leaving my uh, my phone in my stand so that I didn't have to do the flipping around, and then I went and dropped it, so sorry about that. All right, I'm going to click on the comments that are coming up. Um, I'm always leery about making sure we see the feed on the computer. And... Oh, now my computer has frozen. So I'm gonna make, I'm just gonna watch on my phone. Um, let's just get started and roll right in. Hopefully my computer will pick up. All right, if anybody can add a comment that I can watch on my phone, that would be super awesome. Um, I can see people are watching. So the kits that we'll be making today are these vest fold kits. So they don't stand up, they're flat. They just go in your envelope flat. Um, two were the beauty of the earth and two were the bloom where you're planted. So you got a choice to order all four kits or one or the other on my blog. So I'm going to start with doing the beauty of the earth ones. That's the simpler of the two. Uh, so go ahead and crack open your kit. Um, I'm going to show you what a typical kit looks like. And... Here's the beauty of the earth. Now you might have received different patterns. You might have received the patterns that I advertised in the photo. Um, this is just what I have left. And then also I gave just a piece of um, assorted card or designer series paper in the beauty of the earth kit, just to give you another additional something to play with. And I can see 18 comments. My computer is still frozen, so that's not good for me. Um, let me try again. Yeah, it's still frozen. So we're just going to plow right ahead. Hopefully you, you can see what we're doing. So go ahead and grab one of your Beauty of the Earth kits. It doesn't matter really which one. They're all decorated about the same way. So open it up. And when you open it up, this kit coordinates with the one that's got this gold and taupe color ribbon right there. I'm going to set this one aside. So open it up and see what you got. And then I've already pre-scored everything. And you will decide which pattern you want facing up. So in this pattern, there's actually direction. You can, you can see the trees going up like that. This pattern, which was on the sample, it's a pattern that goes every which way. So it doesn't really matter where it's going. So what you're going to do is open up your cardstock and take the point and just flip it down to the left and eyeball running the edge of the cut paper with the score line and then pressing down. So you can use a bone folder, you can use your take your pick tool and then same on the other side. And it doesn't really matter which side you fold down first. Either fold down will work. All right, Diana and um, Connie, I can see that I've got 16 eyeballs watching, but my computer is still not, uh, not catching up with me. So like I said, I will just plow ahead. All right, 
So fold that down. Now I am on location, so I don't have my full complement of adhesives, but I always travel with my tear and tape. Diane and Diane, I see that you commented. Yeah, my computer's not gonna, I don't think it's gonna um, catch up with me today. So go ahead and put some adhesive down here. Glue stick, glue dots, tear and tape, whatever is in your arsenal. And just fold that down and you'll do that for both sides. And since I, I'm using tear and tape, I'm only putting adhesive on the top. This tear and tape is pretty sturdy. There's no reason for me to go crazy and put adhesive on that whole flap. You can go ahead and do that if you'd like. All right, now this sentiment just pulls out like this. So you're gonna wanna seal the bottom shut. And here's where the tear and tape shines. You can see where you're putting it. It's a thin little strip. right to the bottom and then pull that up and then actually I'm going to fold in the right one the right one feels better to me and then this one will fold shut so again you can put it on the flap or on the center portion whichever you'd like to do I'm going to put it on the center portion and pull that up and press that down so it's that easy so if you're watching and didn't purchase a kit the measurements are 12 inches by uh, four um how did it 12 inches by five and a half inches i made it so it fit a regular a2 envelope and then i just sc scored it at four and eight inches so it fits into an envelope with a little bit of give but that's okay this way i could get two two cards out of one pattern paper of the 12 by 12. All right, now here is the uh, accessories for this kit. So I gave you a piece of soft suede and I even gave you a piece of soft suede. I should have I should have um, given you a piece of soft suede for the extra kit to the other kit. So I meant to mount this uh, row of evergreen on that soft suede. So go ahead and adhere that down. Oh, I see my comments are scrolling on my phone um, of people just watching. And I wonder I'm not getting comments on my phone. Uh, if, you're, uh, if you have questions, um, since I can't, for some reason comments are not coming up and my computer is not loading my feed, I will answer all comments after I get done with the presentation. All right, I gave you a length of this gold taupe ribbon. And all I did was lay it over the center in a V shape. So you're going to have to figure out if you like the V shape or not. But if you do a V shape, it's really simple. You can, I like to be extra secure with ribbon, so put a little bit of adhesive down, some dry adhesive, and do the V shape over that. And then the adhesive that I'm going to put on the piece of that soft suede will be extra security to keep that ribbon in place. And then pull that straight up and just place it over your ribbon and cover up wherever you put your adhesive. All right, so there's that. Now you've got to insert here. And in my card, I've got hello. So I'll show you where I got that from. Um, it is the Coordinating Beauty of Friendship stamp set. This is a photopolymer stamp set. And I've used quite a few of these already, but I chose just to grab out the hello. And I wonder if, well, let's just do the hello. Um, I'm using the Garden Green ink pad on all of my cards today. All right, sorry for that squeal right there. And then we're gonna put a hello just up in the upper corner. And I wonder, I'm feeling a little adventurous today. Let's just do hello. Um, I wanted to think, well, I picked a thank you. I was thinking of getting a thinking of you, but let's just add that to a block and stamp. 
stamp that right there. So now you, all you have to do is um, add what you're thanking somebody for. Okay, so we're gonna set this aside. And I'm gonna bring in one of my kits. Now, the sample card's got these cute little embellishments, the brush metallic embellishments. You would have gotten a strip in either one of your kits. So I see I have it in this kit right here. And I'm gonna check my feet again. And see if I'm coming up. Oh, now I see my profile. Good. Now what was going on with that? Okay. All right, so in your other kit, now remember you might not get this pattern, you might get a different pattern. In your other kit, or one of your kits will be the strip of metallic embellishments. Here we go. So you've got six. So they come in uh, two different sizes, three different um, finishes. So you pick whichever finish you'd like. And I use this bronze. I'm gonna, is this bronze or silver metallic? So I did the large one at the top. And that's just to kind of help indicate, put your finger here and pull your sentiment out. So tuck that one in there. Tuck this one in here. And then the smaller one, I just placed down here, like in between the V. Kind of pulls the eye down, down the card. And that's that one. All right, so your second kit is similar for the Beauty of the Earth. You fold it down, you add your uh, soft suede strip. Um, I gave you a piece, an extra piece of Whisper or Basic White so you can do additional stamping. So there might be three pieces of this size, but that's just so that you have extra pieces to do some stamping some, for some verses. And that Thinking of You, I just used, it came from the same stamp set from the Beauty of Friendship. So right there, that's the one I used on that sample. So there is that one. So let's set that aside. Now I want to let everybody know that if you purchased uh, the, this kit from me, you will be receiving an email with a PDF tutorial. So my Sweet of the Month program, well, let me clear this off while I'm talking. My Sweet of the Month program um, for August featured the beauty of the earth. So you'll get it, be getting a PDF with some video links for some additional uh, projects using the Be Beauty of the Earth products. So just wanted to make sure you all are aware of that. Email should be coming. I'm not sure if I'll do it today, but perhaps by mid, mid next week. We just got that PDF done. All right, so if you purchased the... Let me find it here in my mess. This is not a mess, though. It's a creative experience on my desk. All right, if you purchased the Bloomer Planted Kit, Let's work on these next. I'm gonna move my ink pad aside a little bit. Here's what you got in the Bloom or Your Planted kit. So I gave you, I think at least five or six of these pre-printed images from the Designer Series Paper Pack. I gave you a bunch of the individual foliages that would get tucked into the um, clay pots. So you got a lot of options to decorate your cards with and uh, a lot more that you can do, um, add dif different cards as well. So here's where I fussy cut out from here. And let's see, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I think I tried to do five. Let's just do one of these real quick so you can see how easy it is to fussy cut around these using our paper snips. And if you don't want to use one of these images that has the pot and the foliage attached, if you like those clay ones better, you've got that option as well. So all this pattern paper came from the Bloom Where You're Planted uh, pattern paper pack. Okay, all right, so let's open up one of these kits. Look for the one that's got the lattice, the paper lattice. Set that aside. Paper lattice one. Okay. 
pull everything out. Now I gave you a full lattice, but you will only use about two thirds of it. Um, you decide how you want to cut up your lattice. So for this one, I have got open ends on either side. For this one, I decided to use the corners so I don't have to waste any of the lattice. And I um, use one strip. So how should I? I use two of the centers per card. You see that? So you're gonna cut down the middle. Hold this up so you can see what I'm saying. You're gonna cut down the middle here Use your paper snips or get out your paper trimmer. Whatever cutting method you feel like you should be doing. And there's one right there. And then let's cut the other one. So you can see you can make two more cards using this paper lattice. there okay all right now this is the card I this is the card we're gonna work on first and again just open it up you decide um, this pattern doesn't really matter which way you're going uh, you can decide which pattern you want out if you want more of the green down here maybe I should do that so you can see the difference Fold it back. Oh, I didn't do the different one. Here we go. There, this is the opposite one. So we got the green foliage on the bottom with the brick on the, oh, but then the brick, the brick is going the wrong way. I think that's why I, if you like brick growing this way, well, let's just go for it. You can see what it looks like at the end and decide if you like that look or not. So I guess that's a tip. If you're making cards like this, look for patterns that don't have direction or work with the patterns to make sure the direction is the way you want it going. So logically, I would think that these are horizontal bricks, but somewhere in the world, bricks could be laid like this. Not probable, uh, I think because of the laws of physics, um, but it kind of gives an interesting looking design. So let's keep it. Um, again, you just use your favorite adhesive to adhere these pieces down. And I'm looking for my favorite adhesive here. I'm also looking for my dimensionals. And all right. Here's the white piece. Here's the oval scalp oval punch that I gave you. Doesn't matter which side you want up, but I wanted all of this contrast. So all you're gonna do is fold it in half and then glue it down. And again, I've got my tear and tape. Here's where the Tombow liquid glue would work because it's a small little area. and just center it over the top. So again, I was making like a pull tab. Now I gave you quite a bit of ribbon. Let's pull this up, the sample. Probably double, the, double of what you need. And my paper snips again. So let's measure that. I gave you probably five inches and I probably only used, you wanna make this loop small enough so that it's not hanging off of your envelope. So I use, I just snipped two and a half inches. So you've got enough for two cards there. So the way you want to adhere this would be glue dots, some dry glue. I wouldn't use a liquid glue with ribbons because they tend to dry hard and flat and wet looking. So just some kind of a dry glue. A 
Okay, and then for this card, it says a little note with the biggest thanks. Let's get some of this out of the way. I'm gonna bring my paper piercing mat in. I sometimes forget to pull it in. It's a good idea to stamp on a paper piercing mat if you're using photopolymer stamps, the um, clear stamps, because it gives a little extra give and opportunity for the ink to transfer from the stamp to the paper. It kind of fills in the squishy parts, if that makes sense. There you go. Okay, so get that out of the way. Now, I'm running up, I am getting run up to time, so I just want to um, quickly assemble these. So again, add some adhesive over your flaps. Flaps, down on the bottom, flap everything back. And then your trick to add this lattice. So if you've got some liquid glue, great. But I don't have any liquid glue. So, and liquid glue is sometimes messy. You can see out of it or see around. It oozes out on these delicate little die cuts. So I just put it in the center. And then that one piece that I fussy cut, whoo, where did it go? I gotta find it. Um, you will cover up your adhesive with the piece that you fussy cut. Now I have a right little mess here on my desk. I know that never happens to anybody else. Um, let's just pretend that, wow, I don't even know where it went. Did it go on the floor? No. All right, so let's just pretend that one that I cut, which was right here, it's just gonna go over the top. And I just attached it with a dimensional, two dimensionals so that it will pop up both on the vase and the flowers. All right, so there's that one. And then the last one is the brick one. So we'll just step through that one. Again, we just cut the lattice. There's a backer of garden green. In this one, I've got a smaller um, straight edged oval. And then you also have um, the brick to add to the top for a little bit of a detail and to make it a little longer. So that should be in your kit. Hopefully I put it in your kit. Um, and then uh, let's see, and you chuck it in, you stamp it, and you're good to go. Where is it? Right there. There. All right, so hopefully that all made sense. Went through that real quick. Um, you just layer up, start from the bottom, and work your way up. And that's how um, all my cards usually are assembled. All right, I want to go through a few things before I sign off here. Quick catalog tour to show you where these products are in the catalog. Here's the beauty of the earth. And remember, if you purchased a kit from me, um, you will get a PDF with um, ideas uh, to use the beauty of the earth um, products. Here's the Bloom Warrior Planted Sweet. And then my sweet of the month for September is Tidings of Christmas. I'm going to give you a sneak peek on my project for that PDF. It is this bow. So I use the pattern paper from this suite, uh, linen thread, some Sahara sand, and I wrapped it around our um, acetate card boxes. Let me just shove one in there real quick. So uh, in my PDF video or in my video tutorial for this one, uh, I'll show you how to make this belly band and the um, gift bow. So you can see your A2 cards fit in there just nice. They'll and the envelopes fit in there as well. So this that's a sneak peek for my. September suite of the month where if you purchase a suite of products you'll get a PDF from me and then here are the pattern papers in the beauty of the earth and the bloom where you're planted suite I wanted to point out the ribbons that I used in the pack were the just jade gold um, braided ribbon and the fine art ribbon right there all right and it is celebration time and that means that if you um, host an online party that has $300 or more in sales you will receive this um, uh, Kling stamp set. Uh, compliments from Stampin' Up. So normally we have celebration in January and February of every year, but they added a celebration time in August or September this year. So this is one set you can earn if you have $300 in sales. So make sure you add it to your online order and it gets on there. Um, I got one more thing to show in here. A couple more things. Oh, um, one of the options for these celebration rewards is this fun penguin 
Penguin Place paper. So it has all these fun uh, fox and rabbit and snowman themed papers. So double sided, so what you're seeing is the front side and the back side. This is a pattern paperback. You get 12 sheets, two each of six designs. You can earn this for free during celebration when you uh, and when you purchase through my online store. I also wanted to point out, coordinating with that pattern paper pack is this Penguin Place bundle. So if you really like penguins, we got you covered. You can purchase the bundle and get the um, uh, pattern paper pack for free. So celebration is a time where if you purchase products uh, with qualifying uh, levels, you earn free, uh, free items. And then also if you host a party, you earn that free stamp set. And then number four here is where the brushed metallic. Uh, adhesive back dots are that I used in the kit. Let's see what else do I have to go through here real quick before I sign off. Um, I have a stack of my kits ready for shipping. If anybody wants any kits, go to my blog at superawesomestamper.com and click on kits in the mail and the ordering information should be there. And then if you want to place a product order, use the host code that is linked to my blog as well and that's shown here on my mat. Um, the very last thing is I am very close to earning cruise this year. And in my 18 years of being a demonstrator, I have yet to earn a cruise. So any order, um, amount, any team promotion or anybody who'd like to join my team, I welcome you during this time celebration. Um, if you join my team during celebration, Stampin' Up! rewards you with additional um, free bundles, select bundles. So go to my blog at superawesomestampart.com. There'll be information there as well. And I am out of time. So I thank you for joining me. And when I clean up, I know I will find that missing um, uh, plant that I cut. I still haven't found it. I'm going from left to right. I'm not sure where it went, but we'll find it soon. All right. Uh, thanks for stamping with me. And have a great day. And we'll stamp with you soon. Bye.